Hi everyone, this video tutorial will demonstrate how to configure the guaranteed bandwidth and limited bandwidth channel and also the hierarchical bandwidth channel in IN11. Before starting the tutorial, let me introduce the bandwidth channel supported by the IN11. Firstly, is the guaranteed bandwidth channel. The channels will limit the maximum bandwidth while guaranteeing the minimum bandwidth specified. Secondly, the limited bandwidth channel will only limit the maximum bandwidth specified. While for the parental channel is used to do hierarchical management of the bandwidth channels. Here is a sample of network environment for demonstrating the configuration. Let's say that a company wants to do the bandwidth management using IMAP or ISP line. The company has an FTP server and they want SIMAC guaranteed bandwidth for the FTP server. As for the staff, only the IT staff can have 4 MAC bandwidth. Other staff are assigned 2 MAC. This is the IP range for the staff. Point 30 to 50 are financial staff. Point 51 to 70 are marketing staff. Point 71 to 90 are IT staff. There are a few steps to be followed to configure the guaranteed bandwidth channel and limited bandwidth channel. Step 1. Access IM Web UI. Step 2. Access bandwidth management setting. Step 3. Add line bandwidth. Step 4. Add bandwidth channel. And step 5. Verify the result. Then, let's begin the configuration tutorial. After logging into the IN11, go to Bandwidth Management Settings. Then click Virtualize Settings and add the Virtualize. This outbound and inbound setting should set to the same bandwidth with the ISP line bandwidth. Next, we proceed to add the bandwidth channel. Now, we add a new parent channel, namely as FTP Guarantee and select Guaranteed Channel. Then specify the outbound bandwidth and inbound bandwidth. Here we put minimum 5 megabits per second and maximum 8 megabits per second for the both inbound and outbound bandwidth. Next, we need to specify the target object of this channel. This guarantee channel is for the FTP, so in the application, we specify and select the FTP only. For the user, we can specify all the stuff. Here, the IP groups of the financial, marketing, and IT staff divided as followed IP range. Click OK to commit it and the FB guaranteed bandwidth channel is added. Then we proceed to configure the limited bandwidth channel for the staff. Add new parent channel and name it as format staff. Click limited channel and specify the outbound and inbound bandwidth as 4 megabits per second. As for the priority, Specify as high and the channel will be placed at the top of other bandwidth loops. As for the object, specify all the stuff. Click OK to commit. Next, click the format stuff channel and add a new child channel. This will create a new channel under the format stuff channel. Name it as 2 mass staff and specify 2 megabits per second for both outbound and inbound. For the object, specify financial and marketing staff only. Click OK and commit it. Then the limited bandwidth channel for the staff is successfully configured. As I am read the bandwidth rules from the top to down, so the FTP guarantee rule should put higher than the other default rules. 
Finally, let's verify the bandwidth channel rules we configured earlier. Now, the PC IP address is 0.71, which falls under the IP stop. Then we proceed to test the bandwidth speed. The test results shown that the bandwidth is around 4 megabits per second. Then let's test the bandwidth speed again using the marketing staff group which using the IP.51. On the test itself, it's shown that the bandwidth is around 2 megabits per second. Next, we proceed to test the FTP guaranteed bandwidth rules. The PC IP address is still 0.51, which falls under the marketing staff group. Using a FTP server and client software, we test the rule by trying to download any file from a host using FTP protocols. From the FTP client software, it shown that the download speed is around 900 to 1000 KB per second, which roughly equal to 8 megabits per second. Besides that, we also can check bandwidth management status in real time under the flow control tab. That's all for this video tutorial. Thank you.